Across the country, about 100,000 people are waiting for a kidney transplant. A transplant from a living donor provides greater longevity than one from a deceased donor. Yeah, and proactive efforts to find a living donor have mostly moved online. As you can imagine, the waiting is stressful. Emily Stroud shows us how friendship makes it a little bit easier. All right, right ready? Ready. One, two, three, push on. This is how Jacoby Yarbrough met David Cass on a tandem bike. Jacoby on back as the stoker, David in front as the pilot. It was an outing for club vibes for people who are blind or visually impaired. I thought, I'm going to meet up with them and see if, if it's a match. And it was. And it's, it's been full of joy for, for me ever since. We actually met on Sequoia. Uh, Sequoia Hills to uh, to do some tandem biking with the group and from there it's just been match made in heaven. Uh, we hang out, go out to eat, uh, riding his truck, sing, singing a lot of different songs, making up our own words from time to time. Jacoby is joyful even as he faces tremendous health challenges. I do dialysis three times a week simply because my kidneys have failed on me. I need a kidney in order to get off dialysis. I've also lost my sight due to diabetes and um, glaucoma. Uh, so I'm, I'm fortunate um, that I still am able to get around with a little bit of challenge, but still able to do it as well as I do. And, um, and I give God the glory for that. I want to be on his team, you know? I, uh, I want to surround myself with enthusiastic people David is not only Jacoby's friend, but also his advocate, part of his kidney champion team. Since losing my sight, I, use, I rely on a lot of friends like David, um, as well as his wife Cindy, um, Sue Buckley, who uh, runs Club Vibes, um, some friends of mine, Ray and Pat Hinkle, I use them to help me with uh, spreading the word. And I have a few other folks that are part of my kidney champion team. Jacoby's attitude keeps his team motivated. His attitude is, when I get my kidney, it's not if I get my kidney. A lot of it has to do with faith, for certain, because um, I don't think that um, I would be able to be as positive as I am um, without it. He credits his grandmother who raised him, Helen Ash, of Helen and Ellen, the twin sisters who founded the Love Kitchen to feed the hungry. My grandmother always taught me that there is someone out there who is, you know, a lot worse off than you are. Jacoby's got a wonderful heritage through his grandmother, what she gave to the community, and Love Kitchen is still giving. All of the people who uh, think highly of the Love Kitchen and want to give back, even though Helen is gone now, you can give back now uh, through support of the Kidney Foundation and Jacoby's efforts. His ongoing efforts to find a kidney donor. I get a phone call and my transplant center says, hey, we've got a kidney for you. We need you to come in in the next day or two for transplant. That's best case scenario. Right pedal up. He's my friend. He just happens to need a kidney. He just happens to be blind, but uh, he's my friend. Okay, rider ready? Ready. Three, two, one, push. I'm Emily Stroud. All right, straight sailing. Boy, two great men right there. Boy, we know both of, both of them and they are salt of the earth, aren't they? They are. By the way, donating a kidney is not something people do lightly, but we have links to some great resources if it's something you may consider.